Welcome, welcome, welcome everyone. This is Tracy Una Wagner with Versatile Inspirations and the Lightworkers under Earth Angels Academy and Study Hall and the other half of Cryptids Creations. And this is your weekly energy foresight for January 22nd through the 28th, Monday through Sunday. For the month of January, we've been working with the Spirit Song Tarot Deck, and that is by Paulina Cassidy. And for this week, Monday through Sunday, January 22nd through the 28th, the card that came through is transformation or death. And the message from the card is old things pass away to make space for new things to bloom. Remember this this week as you go about each day. Transformation doesn't happen easily sometimes. It takes some loss, letting go, and releasing to create the space necessary for you to grow your wings. Let them unfurl. Let them dry and harden. And when it's time, allow yourself to fly. Transformation is not always unicorns and rainbows and sparkles and joy. Sometimes it takes some deep, hard truths, some loss, some releasing and letting go in order for you to have the weight lifted off of you, to allow you to grow your wings, allow you to um, just unfurl from your tight bud and let yourself bloom. It's not easy. It's kind of difficult sometimes, but you have help in all places, under all circumstances. All you need to do is ask for help if you're feeling you need some. Remember, we all go through hard times. We all go through this transformation. We go through many transformations through our lifetime. We all experience death throughout our lifetime in one way or another, we can actually grow from it. So just allow yourself some time to grieve if need be. Allow yourself some time to sit with that idea of death or transformation and allow yourself the ability to release and let go so you can grow your wings and fly. All right, for midweek and end week, I decided to work with the Galactic Heritage Cards, and that is by Lisa Royal Holt, and the illustrations are by David Cow. And for midweek, and midweek is Monday through Thursday or January 22nd through the 25th, the card that came through is number 21, Self-Sacrifice, Vega, Past. So this is a possible past thing for you. Um, and for some of us, it's an ongoing past circumstance that keeps coming up. That idea of sacrificing self for something else, um, sacrificing your truth for, you know, maybe something that's easier or better or whatever it is. Um, Self-sacrifice is sometimes devastating. So what we need to know and do and be and have is our self-worth, our self-respect, all of those things that um, contribute to a better you, um, a more enlightened you, a happier, healthier you. It's interesting that this came up at this time because as we're moving into this new world, our new self, our new being, our new life, we need to let go of things. So this whole week is all about that death process, releasing and letting go of those things that no longer serve us. And actually this card coming through self-sacrifice as a past card really is telling. Maybe you have gone through times when you have sacrificed yourself for something else. Now, a lot of people say, oh, sacrificing self for the better good or sacrificing yourself for something else is okay. Well, that was a past thing. We should not have to sacrifice, especially our truth for something else. Our truth is our truth. It's our free will. We've incarnated and this is who we are. Um, as long as it does not hurt someone else, as long as it doesn't um, move into somebody else's free will, you are basically 
you know, operating in your own free will state. So you can decide whether you are um, wanting to sacrifice self for something else. But what I think this card is coming through to tell us is that this is that death moment. This is that death thing that we need to release and let go of so that we can move into a more healthier state, a more happier state, a truth-filled state for each and every one of us, whatever that looks like or is. Um, for you and for us to realize we can respect other people's choices. We can respect every uh, other people's um, free will. We don't need to trample on it. And we can focus on self without self-sacrificing for um, things that aren't really our truth. So stand in your truth and allow this to have its death moment, to go to the past where it belongs, to be transmuted back into the light. All right, for end week, and end week is Thursday through Sunday or the 25th through the 28th. The card that came through is number 48, Atlantean era, Earth. Past. Now, I found this very interesting because both cards are for past, and it feels like it's asking us to put these things in the past. Now, a lot of people only think of the Atlantean era as, you know, a place like Atlantis. And while Atlantis had some great, um, great things that it, uh, it brought through like, um, you know, certain crystal healings, medical healings, the connection with spirit. Now, those things are great and it was fabulous. But once Atlantis was destroyed, there were few people um, that escaped. And so they went to different places and um, actually started, you know, delivering or um, giving their information on, you know, spirituality, on um, healing, on different things, right? So a little of it got a tad bit distorted and it really, some people feel like wars and um, materialism and things like that actually originated from that time frame, which I'm not so sure. Um, but think this card is great as we are transitioning from that era of materialism. And that's what I'm choosing to look at it as the idea of materialism into the more spiritual aspects. Again, we're leaving the old, putting that in the past and bringing through the new earth, the new world, the new life, the new you, the new being. And with that, we are raising our vibration and we are experiencing that peace on earth, that love of earth, that love of being, that um, that veil being thin, being able to communicate, really seeing our spiritual realm and being able to communicate with our higher self in a more beautiful, blessed way. So these two cards offering that idea of the past, along with our tarot card being death, putting these to rest, putting these into their grave, so to speak, and allowing your new being, your new self to come through. Now, something that happens when we get to this point of, um, either or um, death of this thing um, as compared to another thing. And this has come up several times um, is the idea. Once you put, once this ego, once this feeling um, gets put into a corner, sometimes it comes roaring through. Sometimes it's just like if you were to corner a wild animal, it doesn't just, you know, sometimes like with opossums, they just kind of play dead. But sometimes if you get a raccoon or you get a bear or something like that in a corner, they're not going to react favorably. And our ego kind of feels that way at, at times sometimes when we're trying to let go of things of or when we're trying to, you know, bring through our truth. 
it comes roaring through and almost in an attack mode. And it's like, you can't take this away. It's helping you in some way, shape or form. But the fact is it's time. The death card came through, that transformation card came through and that's how we transform. We release and let go. And just letting our ego, letting our the inner child know that we are safe and secure moving forward in a more peaceful, loving, compassionate world, self, being, life, then it will help to, to ease that roaring wild animal within and allow you to once and for all let these things go and move into this beautiful new space. All right. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. I so appreciate it. And as always, I'm sending you so much love, angel light, and tons of gratitude. Take care and I will see you next week for the first couple days of February. Take care. Bye-bye.